everybody back to my channel it's been a long time since I've done any type of tutorial any type of video uh, life just got busy and I just haven't had the time however I am back for now I'm gonna show you guys a quick little tutorial on how to um, make mock-ups out of your embroidery without stitching wasting fabric wasting material all that good stuff so first you're gonna open up whatever you use whether it's in brilliance or whatever the other ones are you're gonna upload your file you're gonna make sure that you change it to the threads you like the colors you like edit it all that good stuff um if you don't know how to do all that stuff i will try to make another video but i can't make any promises because again life just happens so i like the way that this looks um i'm gonna go ahead and um, changed my view basically I want to get rid of the grid I want to get rid of the um, you know the hoop lines all that stuff I want a clear background and then you're gonna go to the bottom of your screen if you use Windows if you use Mac I can't help you I don't know how to use Mac uh, you're gonna look for what's called a snipping tool um, the snipping tool basically it helps you take screenshots of your of your screen okay um, I already have mine up because I was already making mock-ups and I just thought, hey, let me go ahead and make a tutorial while I'm doing this. So I'm just going to show you again. It's called Snipping Tool. You're going to click Open and then I'm going to walk you through really quickly how to take a screenshot. Okay. So once you get it open, once you have it where it says uh, New right up here in the corner, um, you're going to get a blank screen. Your screen's going to wide up like this. Basically, all you're going to do is draw a little box around your design. You're just going to click and drag however big you need it. Make sure you got all the parts of the design in it. And then you're going to let it go. You're going to let go of your button um, of your mouse. And it's going to pop up just like this. Again, just draw, drag and drop a square around it. Make sure you got your full design in there. And it's going to pop up like this. You're going to save it into your photos. Name it whatever you want. Um, once you've done that, uh, the next step is we're going to actually remove the background of it so that you can edit it um, onto whatever mock-ups you use, whether you buy mock-ups, whether you've made your own mock-up, all that good stuff. Um, normally I use Canva but uh, to remove backgrounds, but as you can see, I'm really poor. I haven't paid my subscription, so I can't remove any backgrounds. So we're gonna go over to this free site called Remove BG. It's remove.bg, it's a free site. You just uh, upload your photos. Um, and or you know whatever design you have and it's going to remove the background from you uh from your image for you okay so just upload your image drag and drop whatever you got to do um and then you can see here it's thinking and it's gonna do its thing um if you have canva you can go ahead and automatically upload it into canva uh, but since i don't have my membership we're just gonna do it the old-fashioned way we're gonna download it and then we're gonna upload it once that's done, we are going to go back over to Canva. Uh, you can do this even with the free version of Canva. You do not have to have a paid for a subscription to do this. I love Canva. It makes everything so easy. They even have free templates for you to um, make t-shirts. I'm not a Canva partner, so uh, I'm not making any money off of telling you about Canva. Uh, it's just um, a tool that I like to use. So I'm going to go ahead and make this a little bit bigger. I use the t-shirt template so that I just get, you know, a sizable background um, to work on. Uh, but you're just going to go down here. You're going to click where it says uploads and you're going to upload the image that we just uh, got from remove.bg. It should be in your download uh, folder, not in your saved photos unless you saved it somewhere else. Um, so here it is. We're going to wait for that to upload. Again, if you create your own mock-ups, you're going to, um, like, just people wearing the shirts or blank shirts, uh, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to upload it into Canva. I already have a bunch, so I'm just going to grab a couple to use. Um, since this is Christmas theme, I'm going to go with a Christmas crew neck. Um, and you're just going to highlight or click on it, right click on it, left click on it right click on it right click on it and you're going to attach it as the background set image as background 
that way uh you know that's your main photo and then you're gonna you know choose another one we're gonna do two here just so you can get an idea of how it's gonna look whether you use a a person or just a um garment okay you're gonna go back up there you're gonna click on your image you're gonna add it to the photo and you're gonna resize it uh to however big or small you need it to make it look as natural as possible um so you can see that's what i'm doing here yeah it kind of looks funny kind of looks definitely like some kind of cgi but it is whatever um this is just my shortcut to making uh mock-ups because you know when you're trying to get orders out you don't really have a lot of time to stitch the 99 million uh holiday designs that you have this is a little cheat um same thing you're gonna take click it on it you can add your logo if you have one um you are only allowed to upload logos into canva if you have a membership um mine is just temporarily expired so i can still play around with uh adding my logos to um my designs um you can do the same thing uh with just uploading it as a png a photo whatever you got and then attaching it to the image the same way you did with your um design and then you know putting it wherever you want on your photo i like to put it in like the most weirdest place possible so that way with people try to steal my photos they have a harder time of like cropping it um but for this one it doesn't really matter i'm just showing you guys how to do it okay um after that you're gonna go over here to where it says share you're gonna scroll down to where it says download um if you did two images it is gonna compress it do not click transparent background because that's gonna remove the image that you set as a background you want it set as a png I go over here and click one page one of two that way it'll download individually i won't have to um extract it later on i mean if you're doing a whole bunch of photos at once which you normally can um compressing it is fine you just have to unzip it later on but for me i like to have separate photos that way when i'm scrolling through when i'm trying to upload to my tiktok shop my etsy my macari whatever i got it's just wham bam okay so again save it it goes into your downloads you can view it in your folders uh, wherever you're you know you keep your file I pin mine um, ignore this weird image canvas just trying to tell me that they can print my shirts for me but I don't think anybody wants a shirt that looks like that so again just go over here into your files uh, go over to wherever your downloads are um, so that you can view your image and then you just you can click on them make sure that they look right and then you're done um i know this video is really really quick i sincerely apologize it's been a long time uh again i'm just working on my own stuff and i just thought that you know it'd be helpful to upload something new something easy people are just trying to get their website set up so if this helps leave me a like comment let me know uh what else you'd like to know what other cheat sheets or cheating tips or whatever you want to call them that can help make your business run smoothly i would love to be able to help you out um thanks so much for watching peace out